Welcome to Neyland Stadium, one of the biggest and most beautiful settings in all of college football. This big crowd ready to roar. They know when the volunteers run through that tee, it's showtime. And a rivalry like this is what makes college football great. Yeah, the tradition and the history, but right here, right now, there's great intensity. This is why these guys came to these schools to play in games like this. As we'll see the number six team in the country, the Alabama Crimson Tide, taking on the 15th ranked team, the Tennessee Volunteers. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Street. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. He'll return it from inside the five. Physical one, breaking tackles. He tackled at the 17, strong job by the coverage team. So the Tennessee Volunteers offense comes on the field first today. Here we go, you can feel the juice in this building. What a privilege, Kirk, to be part of this rivalry game. Well, there's nothing like rivalry games. You know, no matter what you've done all year, you get your opportunity to win this game today, and it can change everything. I'll take that every single time. Offensive line does a nice job up front. This backs vision and ability to get positive yards by lowering his pads on full display right there. The Volunteers come to the line looking to crank up the tempo. And the tight end goes in motion before the snap. Using his legs, it's Sampson. Tackled, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. That's just good, hard running by this back. And man, they've had some good ones over the years. Go back to Jamal Lewis, who's on that 98 National Championship team. Travis Henry, Arian Foster. Boy, Chris, some big physical backs come to mind when you think about the Tennessee Vols. Offense in hurry-up mode. Off the play fake, looking to throw. And the junior able to get home with the sack. It just looked like the quarterback was holding on to the ball a bit too long that time, allowed the defense to be able to get the pressure, and they come up with a first sack of the game. He went backwards on first down, so second and long from the 24. Looking to throw. It's Ayamaleva. He finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. A move the sticks for first down for this Tennessee offense. And this quarterback is really starting to throw the ball well, putting the ball in the money, and giving these receivers a chance to make plays after the catch. And I tell you, they've had some great quarterbacks, as we know, that have played in their time in Knoxville. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. And the freshman making an impact play there. Well, you got to do a better job with your fake as a quarterback. The defense did not bite at all in the play action, allowing them to continue to come after the quarterback and come up with that sack. This offense faces a second and 15. The O-line needs to regroup. They'll go with the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. He's found some room with the 45. And the stop is made, but not before a huge gain. Moves the ball to a 32. Well, the scouting report on this running back was that he is an elite ball carrier, and he is proving to be that here early in this game. These first few carries, not only the strength, but the quickness and acceleration to get upfield and get positive yards on display. And at first down, they go right back to him. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. 
Chris, I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what's an offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. The eighth play of this opening drive, but it's third and long. Scanning the field, it's Ayamaleva. Quick throw to the left. And he's got his bad open downfield. Force out of bounds, but not before the football's moved inside the 10 on the first down and goal. The defense is spread all over the field, creating some one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the quarterback makes them pay for it. That huge play sets up a great opportunity. First and goal just outside the five. Out of the shotgun, will hand it off. And this one goes nowhere. Lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. It was an excellent effort by this defense, just staying in their run fits, holding their own at the line of scrimmage, and then making a tackle. Offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get any yards at all. The balls will hustle to the line here to run the hurry up. Little eye candy here from the offense and pre-snap motion. Quarterback pulls the ball. It's a keeper. And he'll make it in for the score. Touchdown, Volunteers. This is why this offense is one of the more dangerous offenses in the country. The quarterback and his legs. It's one thing to try to stop him throwing the football, but you better keep eyes on him because you can see not only can he get out into the open, he has got serious speed to take it to the house. And now here comes the point after attempt. And the PAT makes it 7 0. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. Return starts from inside the five. And he stopped at the 20, trying to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. So Alabama's offense makes their way onto the field for their first possession. If there's one guy on this defensive side, Kirk, who could be a game wrecker, it's this elite pass rusher, very much on the quarterback's mind today. Yeah, Chris, but it's going to be very tough. This quarterback does a nice job of moving around in the pocket, and also he's going to have an awareness of exactly where this guy is and have a clock in his mind about how quickly that ball needs to get out. You know, Chris, if we would have told Bear Bryant that Alabama would have a wide receiver that won a Heisman in recent years, I don't think he would have believed us. But that's where we are. They've been some great ones in the past, but we're seeing some great-looking receivers on this unit right now. Just underway, and this home crowd is fired up and ready to make a difference today. Off the play fake on first down. Grab behind the line, it's Prentice. But the play loses yardage. Very tough second down coming up now. Man, the defense was all over that play. Just left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. Offense getting set. It's second down. To the air. It's Milrow. And it's incomplete. Might have heard some footsteps there over the middle. Now it's going to bring out third down. We're going to see a repeat. Remember last time these teams played, it got ugly. Chris, that's one of those games you just hate to see in a rivalry game when it gets so one-sided. Hoping today to see this defense play much better. The offense facing a tough conversion here. Third and long from the 42. It's picked off. He tried to fire the ball into a tight window. I'm going to give the defensive coordinator a tip of the cap here. They went with dime coverage with six defensive backs, which gives them a lot more speed on the field. 
And with those defensive backs, they're able to play better in space. They recognize the ball, step in front of it for a nice interception. And the Volunteers' powerful offense back out in the field. The last possession, they really had the passing game clicking. Move right down the field for a touchdown. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, I don't think the offensive line gave the back much of a chance at all. Now, give credit to the defense. It was almost like they were anticipating a run and got up close to the line of scrimmage in a hurry. And the Vols come to the line in the hurry up. The shotgun run call. Christian, the spread era over the years has always grown offensively, but I've been always impressed with the defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. to throw. It's Ayamaleva. Can't hold on. Good defensive play. Brings up a four down. Boy, this is all about the defense here. Nice stop here on third down, but really it's about trying to get this offense behind the sticks. Once you get them behind the sticks, you can mix up your coverages, really affect the quarterback's eyes and disrupt the timing and the rhythm of what the offense is trying to do. Now we've got another big fourth down coming up. And the returner elects to fair catch it. No return. Alabama's offense coming back onto the field. This offense trying to bounce back the last possession and then in a pick. Play action here on first down. Slags the quick throw. And they wrap him up, but the game is good enough for a first down. You know, plays like this are what Alabama offense is all about. They run the football, and then they're efficient within their passing game. Think about it. They won a couple national championships with Greg McElroy and A.J. McCarron by just being efficient and playing smart at the position and being a great complement to that running game in the defense. Off the play fade, looking to throw the football, bringing pressure. And he just throws it away there. Safe move. Had nobody open. Well, he played in rivalry games. No shortage of inspiration, but how do you manage the emotion of it all? Well, I think you need great leadership from the team. Sometimes teams don't handle the emotions of it, and the game can get sideways on you. The teams that play the best in rivalry games are the teams that have the best leaders to keep them focused on the task at hand. Looking for his big tight end. Easy throw to a wide open receiver downfield. Big play in enemy territory all the way to the 41-yard line. What a pitch and catch by the quarterback and receiver for a big gain for this offense. Alabama getting set for the first and 10 now. Dropping back, it's Milrow. Finds his man. They bring him down, but not before he gets inside the 30-yard line. The defense spreads all over the field playing zone, trying to make this quarterback make a mistake by throwing it into coverage. But he finds the soft spot on the curl and picks up a first down. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. And that's a solid gain for the defense able to bring him down. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think they're going to run, maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Here comes the bunch formation. The quarterback wants to throw it on second down. Makes the catch, but throw him out of the field of play, incomplete. And the replay booth has signaled they want to stop and have another look at this one. 
So after taking a closer look, the officials are going to overturn that previous ruling on the field. First down, looking to throw the ball. Caught over the middle, it's Henderson. Tackle after the catch, but the ball moves to the four-yard line. This is an example of a quarterback and his offense just taking what the defense gives you. Not a huge play, but positive yards. The defense wants to give that throw to you. you take it, get the ball to your receiver, stay ahead of the sticks. It's a second and goal play for the offense. From the shotgun, drops back looking for an open man. And it's caught. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. That kind of play is almost impossible to defend when the quarterback is throwing the ball with that kind of accuracy and timing and the receiver runs a route like this, good luck trying to stop it. So maybe this is a great start for this combination of this quarterback and receiver for a big day. Extra point try coming now. And there's the point after. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. And he takes this from inside the five. Makes it to the 16. That's good coverage there. And Tennessee's high-powered offense is back out on the field. They're coming off a quick three and out. So looking to put something together on this drive with a little more urgency. And try the middle, but gain nothing on that play. Chris, textbook job by the defense surrounding the runner and preventing that play from being bounced to the outside. And the Volunteers come to the line in the hurry-up. He hands it to the back. They bring him down right at the 20. I think this defense keeps thinking about them throwing the football. And by doing that, they're opening up running lanes. Good positive yards there by the running back. Crucial third down play coming up. Hand it off to the back. And they'll stop him just short of the marker. Good effort, but the defense holds. Now it's fourth down. The balls will send their punt team onto the field. We're going to kick it away for the second time. No fair catch. Looking to return this punt. The coverage team able to bring the returner to the ground. Here comes the Alabama offense onto the field. Great possession last time. They punch it into the end zone. Can the defense come up with a stop this time? The gain is three yards, so second and seven. The defense coordinator this week all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. That's getting set up. Here's second down. Fakes the handoff. Looking to throw. Fires it to the wide out. And he pulls in the catch. They make the tackle, but that's a solid gain. Moves the ball to the 34. A nice throw and a great catch by another Alabama wide receiver. So that's really where we are. Anymore with Alabama, you just come to expect great receivers like this. You think back in recent years to Amari Cooper and Jerry Judy, Jalen Waddell, Devontae Smith. The list goes on and on. Boy, they've got some great looking receivers on this squad. And they'll tackle him for a loss of five yards. That back just had nowhere to go. Gotta give credit to the defense and their run fits on that play. Second down play coming up. Dropping back, it's Milrow. Quick throw over the middle. 
Almost intercepted, falls incomplete, but a risky attempt there. Would have been his second pick today. Pretty nice catch here, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, but hands, sometimes a little questionable, as we saw here. Receivers are bunched together. Looking to throw it on fur and very long. He's got an open man downfield, and it's caught. They bring him down at the seven. The offense set up now with a first and goal. Well, this is why this guy's one of the top wide receivers in college football. It's third down. The defense knows you're probably going to go to him, and they still can't stop him from coming down with a big play. Offense coming to the line. They might have a chance for a couple more plays before we reach the end of the quarter. Here's the snap. Quarterback looking to throw. Physical defending. That one falls incomplete. Brings up second down. This should be the last play of the quarter. Trying to find the end zone off the right side. Offense stopped behind the line. A big play by the defense to wrap up the first period. We are deadlocked at the end of a fun, competitive first quarter. Let's check out the stats so far. And after a promising start, we hope that both deep seats will just continue with more of this action. Offense moving backwards here, a long way from the goal line now. Pressure is coming. Throws it too far over everyone's head and incomplete. Hey, it's an incompletion, but it's a nice job by the quarterback. I know it didn't pan out, but the most important thing is he didn't turn the football over and he didn't take a sack. It'll give your kicker a chance to put some points on the board if they opt for the field goal here on fourth down. So they'll settle for a field goal attempt here. The attempt is no good. And with the miss, the remain tied. Now that's going to go down as an empty possession for this offense. No points as he's off target. Now you can see he's hanging his head. Poor kicker. And Tennessee's offense back out on the field now. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together in this run? They'll give it to the back. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Chris, that play just didn't have much of a chance at all from the snap. Quarterback hands this off and just nowhere to go. It's almost like the defense was anticipating the play call, and they put themselves in a position to come up with a nice tackle for a loss. The Volunteers will hustle to the line to run the hurry-up offense. It's a quarterback keeper. Defense makes the tackle on the ball carry. Boy, the options dried up quickly for the quarterback here. Very, very fortunate he was somehow able to get back to the line of scrimmage. Well, it's been tough so far to get this drive going. Now they face third and 10 from inside their own 20. What's the call going to be? Scanning the field. It's Ayamaleva. He pulls it in for a big game. And a huge game with four. He scores out of bounds. Big guards to set up a fresh set of downs. That is great arm strength and accuracy by this quarterback. Let's not forget the wide receiver's job of bringing it in for that big game. The Volunteers will have first and ten here. Someone moved just a bit too early. That will cost him five yards. Ball start. Ball start. Ball start. Ball start. And the head coach will decide to accept the penalty and take the yardage. Offense shoots itself in the foot. It's first and 15. Got a decent gain there before the defense brings him down. I tell you, to be able to pick up a nice game like that, those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks. Gave them a chance at a really nice game. Offense getting set. Second down play here. Oh, 
quarterback will throw it up the one pass option. They wrap him up after the completion just short of the first down marker. Just a good job here by the quarterback. Got the ball out to his receiver. His guy eats up some yards. They stay ahead of the sticks. Solid gain on the running play. Third down now. They'll try to run for the first down. Brought down, but it's past the line to gain. How about that, Chris? Third down and two. They get just enough. I thought they might bring the sticks out to measure. It was so close. But they're going to give them the first down. That's just trusting your back to get the yards you need for the first down. The balls pick up enough yardage to move the sticks. They're going to run it. It's a one-yard game, second and nine coming up. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. It's really solid defense on that play. And the Vols hustle to the line to run the hurry up. Looking to pass, it's Ayamaleva. The offense two for two on third downs in this drive, but this will be tough. It's third and long. There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. Good as he gets the pass away. They're not going to get him. He's in. Touchdown, Tennessee. What a touchdown here by this offense. I'm going to tell you something. This is what separates the men from the boys right here as a quarterback. He knows he's going to get hit. Looks downfield, keeps his eyes focused, makes the throw, takes the hit, and they get the touchdown. Beautiful. So they'll try to add to the lead now with a PAT. The PAT is good. They go up a touchdown, 14-7. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. He's going to return it from near the goal line. Turner tackle right there. That's where they'll start the drive. Here comes the Crimson Tide offense onto the field. We need some out of this possession. The last time they settled for a field goal attempt, but then they missed it. And he will make the first down. Tackled at the 26. Look, I realize on any play call, when it's properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. Send the back in motion. Caught behind the line. It's Miller. Jukes past the defender. He's in the clear. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. You know, Chris, you think about it. Efficiency has always kind of been the description of a great Alabama quarterback. Man, think about the playmakers that they've had over the last few years at this position. Jalen, Tua, Bryce Young recently. Just a different level of quarterback play and really gives this offense an edge to it. First and ten play coming up. On the run, it's Haynes. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. I mean, Chris, you have to admire this offense. They continue to try to sprinkle in the run game, even though it's not been able to really get established. But they're not just becoming one-dimensional. you got to respect that, and hopefully at some point it'll pay off. Here's the second down play. Fakes the handoff here, looking to throw it. 
What a catch. Heads up off the deflection. A huge hit by the linebacker. A collision of big bodies there. Well, let's give the tight end a lot of credit here off that deflected football. The concentration and the nice hands to go up off of that tip ball to make that catch. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Here's the throw deep downfield. The catch is made for a huge pickup. And he finally steps out of bounds after a huge gain. It'll be first down and goal. Alabama's offense now lining up on first and goal. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Dang, this defense continues to just be physical at the line of scrimmage. Offense can't do anything on the ground, and by doing that, this defense is allowing their defensive front to get pressure on the quarterback. Every time they drop back the throw, they become a one-dimensional offense. Dropping back, it's Milrow. He's got it near the end zone, and he scores! Touchdown, Alabama! So we're all tied up after that one, Kirk. A potential shootout on our hands here? Yeah, the offense does their job and ties this thing up. Now the pressure switches to the other side for an answer. Here comes the point after attempt. And he knocks it right through. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. Fields it just outside the goal line. He's sort of brought down. Sets up the next drive. And the Volunteers' high tempo offense is back out on the field. They were clicking last time. Great protection. The pitch and catch was solid. Right down for a touchdown. It's a quick grab. He will pick up the first down. Stop at the 27. Boy, a great throw and a first down for Tennessee, and they are in business. This quarterback is playing well, and, you know, Chris, they are able to recruit the nation when it comes to quarterback play because of the history and tradition they have. Started really with Peyton Manning, but has worked its way through. Think about T. Martin, won the national title in 98. Hendon Hooker, what he did a few years ago. Go back to Josh Dobbs. Boy, they've had some great quarterbacks that have played here. Here comes a handoff. We're able to tackle the ball carrier there. Well, the defensive line does their job eating up those double teams, freeing up the backers to make the play. And the Volunteers hustle to the line to run the hurry up. Makes a quick grab. They tackle him. Looks like it's going to be just short of the mark, inches away. Well, this is what coaches love to see. A quarterback with the ability to read the defense properly and then just get it to the open man. Sometimes it sounds simple, but it's tough to execute. This time we have good recognition by the quarterback, and he gets it down to the tight end. You can see what he can do after the catch. They'll try to move the chains here on the ground. They've got him, but not before making first down yards. They'll move the ball to the 41. Yeah, I love how the back didn't really dance around trying to make a big play. He knew it was third down in inches, lower the shoulder, get the first down. The balls pick up first down yardage to keep the drive going. Same tail back, another carry. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Things just appeared to be a bit out of sync from the get-go on them. Give credit to the front seven of that defense for staying in the proper lanes and getting to the ball carrier, not let him dance around and make something out of nothing. Important second down play coming up. Caught quickly. 
The tackle is made, but there's a flag on the field. See what that's about. He knows he knows he knows he knows he knows he Pretty easy call for the head coach. He will accept that penalty, of course. Second down play coming up for this offense. Using his legs, it's Samson. The junior able to bring him down quickly. You know, in that era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense is countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense. Has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage and not give up big run plays. Now in third and very long, looking to throw. Grab down the middle. It's Samson. The defense stops him short of the marker, so it's fourth down coming up. Now there's just nothing here for the quarterback to do other than throw it to his back and hope that he can get the yards after the catch, enough for the first down. But the defense gives some yards, but not enough for him to get to the sticks. The volunteers bring their punt team onto the field. Looking to flip the field here. And the returner brought down by the coverage team. So here comes the Alabama offense back onto the field. Remember last time they scored a touchdown. Can they keep clicking here? Or the defense come up with a stop? And not even a chance to pitch that one. He's brought down to the backfield. to make up second and long from the 15. Back now goes in motion. Defense will have to adjust. Makes a quick catch. They bring him down, but he reaches the 30-yard line. This defense has got to be aware of these quick throws to these wide receivers. They're lucky he didn't come up with more yards. First and 10 now for the offense. They're going to run it here. Solid game. Moves the ball to the 37. Man, you know, the back gets a lot of the attention here. He's a good back. I love to see that offensive line win the battle of the line of scrimmage. Second down here. Time for one more play before the two-minute warning. We'll take a quick pause before the half as we reach the two-minute warning. Getting set. Here's second down. Dropping back. It's Milrow. Looks to the left. Pass caught. And the runner steps out of bounds, but does have enough yardage to pick up the first down. Boy, Chris, great timing here with the quarterback against that zone defense, waiting just at the right time to deliver it into that window to pick up a nice game. Alabama getting set with a first and 10 coming up. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun. And that one's picked off. What a play. Big takeaway. Now looking for a big return. At the 20. And he steps out of bounds after a great return. What a hit. He sets up the offense in great position. Really nice job of mixing up the looks here by this defense. Sometimes man, sometimes zone. They fool the quarterback here completely. And he throws the pick. Volunteers' powerful offense back out in the field. They were forced to punt last time. Can they get this offense going finally? Get some points out of this possession. And the pass is intercepted. A takeaway for the defense. Not much on the return, but the defense comes up with a takeaway. When you get this close to the end zone, you've got to be able to come away with points. At the very least, a field goal. They've got to be scratching their heads and hoping that in the second half, this play right here, doesn't come back to bite him. So the first play of the drive here coming up, less than two minutes left on the clock. First down, looking to throw the football. Makes the grab, it's Haynes. They bring him down quickly, a short pitch and catch to get a little bit closer to the marker. 
Well, here the defense decided to sit back and play zone, and that front didn't do a good job of pressuring the quarterback. He had the time to make the throw, and he put it on target. Second down after that previous play. To throw, it's Milrow. Oh, and he dropped it. Might have heard some footsteps there over the middle. That brings up third down. Well, that's everything you want to see from an offense. Great execution. The line gave the quarterback time. Quarterback makes a great read, throws it to his guy. The receiver drops it. Now he's going to have to shake that off and get ready to make that next play. Interesting play call here. Third and short inside their own 20. They want to get this drive going, or a punt could give the opponents excellent. Caught way downfield for a huge gain. Potentially a touchdown saving tackle, but not before a long completion. So the offense calls a timeout here. That's their first of the half. And that completion, Kirk, puts him over 300 yards passing today. Yeah, any time a court. And he makes it into the end zone. Touchdown, tied. No surprise there, Kirk. It's a red zone touchdown to the big tight end. Well, the tight ends are usually much more involved down in the red zone because of their size and their skill set allows them to be more effective down in this area. Now, they may not hurt you on the big, long throw, but they can use their bodies to provide the quarterback a nice target when the defense is so condensed. They're setting out to try the PAT. He knocked through the extra point. The lead is 7, 21 14. So the offense getting some momentum before halftime of the touchdown. Now they kick off in hopes the defense can get a quick stop. And here's the return from inside the five. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. And Tennessee's high powered offense is back out on the field. Backed up this close to the red zone in the final minute. Let's see if they just decide to take care of the football and look toward the second half. Finds a man to the left. Big catch downfield. They bring him down, but that is a huge play for this passing game. Big game. Fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. To the air. It's Ayamaleva. And he'll lost it to the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Bombs. Perfect timing here by this quarterback. Great read, puts the ball where his man can make a play on it, and they're an extra point away from tying this game up. before halftime. Fields it inside the five-yard line. And the returner brought down by the coverage team. Alabama's offense coming back onto the field. We'd expect a prudent decision here, backed up near their own end zone, just run the clock out and get to halftime. Escapes the pocket. He stopped just short of that first down marker, inches away from it. is going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it down to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. And it's been a battle of wills between these two teams through two quarters. Bend, but don't break. They've managed to neutralize the explosive playmakers on each side by shutting down passing windows and providing tight coverage. Forget the Jimmys and Joes, 
This second half could really be about the X's and O's. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. The Volunteers will kick this away to start the second half. They'll return it from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. Here comes the Alabama offense onto the field. They start the drive with a quick throw to the right side. And he heads out of bounds after gaining a few yards. Well, the running back that time just kind of sneaks out of the backfield and shows his hands on that nice catch. Second down after that run on the previous play. A handoff from the shotgun. And he's tackled, but only after picking up a first down. Sometimes I almost get mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, the eyes that carry their feet to the open space, making people miss. I just love watching those guys do work. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Again, thrown out of the RPO, and it's complete. That gain is good enough for a first down. Ball spotted at the 42. Boy, another nice completion by this quarterback and one of his receivers. You know, if I'm right, you look at this quarterback in this game alone, he's now over 350 yards. What a game for him. Alabama getting set with a first and 10 now. Grab behind the line. It's Miller. And they get him down after the completion. Hey, it's a game, but you get the sense that this offense wanted a little bit more from that play. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Hands off to the left. And that run produces a decent game. I feel like they call that knowing chances are they're not going to hit a home run. But look at this. Put themselves in a perfect third down situation. It's much more manageable. And we'll see if they can convert. Solid gain in the running play. Third down now. Can he get there on the ground? Breaking free at the 35. They make the first down. Brought down to the 31. You know, all week, the defensive coordinator told us about the quarterback. He told us about the receivers and how they're going to throw the football. But, man, they better get locked in on stopping this run game because that was a big-time game. Alabama comes up to the line quickly. From the shotgun now, here's a handoff inside. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. That was that excellent linebacker with a clear path just running downhill quickly. You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. He just has great instincts. That time the defensive line ate up all the linemen, freed up the linebacker to get into the backfield, and the result is a tackle for a loss for the backer. Now they'll switch it up looking to throw the ball here. Let's it go quickly. Makes the catch downfield. Down quickly after the catch, but the ball at the 14 sets up the red zone opportunity now. Well, this is a beautiful play when the timing is right, as we see right here. The receiver's got to do a good job of working his way back to the football as the quarterback is throwing it. The timing here is impeccable. And here comes the noise. This crowd is trying to inspire this defense to make a big red zone stop. And the pass is incomplete. Well, I'm a big fan of the RPO, but it is a dangerous play for the quarterback. you got to make the right decision. On this play, it just seemed like he was a little hesitant, unsure, and it cost him here with an incompletion. Coming to the line on second down, this is important. They want to avoid a third and long. Here's the handoff. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. They tried to get the counter play to the edge here. We've seen this defense show their ability to pursue and fly to the football. Yeah, they sure can, and they did a nice job on this counter play. A lot of times you'll see those counters go more up into the middle of the defense, but they tried to bounce that to the outside, and that gave you an idea of what kind of speed this defense has. He's got it right 
right near the end zone. Touchdown, Bama. That puts him on top in the second half. That's another passing strike from his quarterback. He is having himself a tremendous ball game. Boy, this guy just can't miss. Every single time he throws, it seems like he's coming up with another touchdown. The receivers are running good routes. He has enough time to throw. And man, this poor defense, they might want to think about changing up coverage because right now it is not working. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. PAT makes it a seven-point lead. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. Turner trying to create good field position. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And Tennessee's offense back out on the field now. They punched it in the last possession. Can they do it again? Or will this defense make some adjustments to get a stop? It's a solid game. Moves the ball up to the 28. Boy, this offense does such a great job of putting the threat of the quarterback and the running back on this defense. It puts the defense in a tough spot because it's really hard to take both away. This time, the quarterback gets out and shows you the speed he has as well. The ball's looking to crank up the tempo a bit. On first down, it's play action. Makes the throw across the middle of the field. Tried to squeeze one in there, but it's incomplete. Oh, man. For him to be that wide open and drop it. Sometimes you just have too much time in your hands. You end up thinking way too much. It gets your hands a little shaky. Incompletion sets up a second down. Short connection to the tight end here. And he's brought down, but there is a flag on the field. Let's check out this call. And the head coach will decide to accept the penalty and take the yardage. Now it's second down here. Looking for a gap, it's Sampson. A change of direction. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. This one's going to fall incomplete, brings up fourth down. Well, Chris, obviously they had to go through the air there to try to pick up this third down and long, but when you're so far behind the chains, boy, you really allow this defense to dictate things, and it allows them to put pressure on your quarterback and can affect the timing, as we saw in this play. And the Vols will line up to kick it away, and they'll punt it away for the fourth time today. When he's got some space here, to be brought down, but a penalty marker is on the field. Let's see what this is about. Personal foul. Personal foul. foul. Roughing the kicker. Kick. Defense. Defense. Pretty easy call for the head coach. He will accept that penalty, of course. Offense gets a second chance after the roughing the punter penalty. On the handoff, they'll test the right side here. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Man, every defensive coordinator will tell you, I just want my guys to play fast. And how about that one right there? He almost ends up tackling the quarterback as he's handing the ball off. This offense is lucky they didn't end up fumbling. The offense going with the hurry up. They're going to run it. Matt gets the carry. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. That's a great play all around by this defense. Your first level defenders hold their own at the point of attack, allowing the second and third level players to roam free and make the tackle close to the line of scrimmage. And the volunteers will hustle to the line to crank the tempo. Looking to throw it on third and very long. 
Titans a wide open receiver complete. Oh, and he's free down the left side. Can they run him down? They could not stop him. He's in. Touchdown, Volunteers. This is a nice touchdown and a great play call. Just get this receiver in space and let him make people miss and use his speed to get to the end zone. That's what they did here, and it pays off. set up for the PAT. He knocks through the PAT and ties the score here in the third period. The kickoff team on the field now is a get set to send this one away. Return starts from inside the five. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. Here comes the Crimson Tide offense onto the field. This would have touched them in their last possession. Let's see if this defense can make adjustments and prevent that this time. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Hat on a hat up front. Good job opening up the holes. Anytime you get positive yards on first down, that's a win. Second down after that run on the previous play. And it's incomplete as he just overthrew his receiver that time. I'm not sure the quarterback makes the right decision on this one. I think if he do it over again, he would have found a different target downfield. But he made his decision. That one's incomplete. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Fighting off the defender. That's a good effort on the run, but the defense stops him just short of the marker. Fourth down now. Well, anytime you use your quarterback as a runner, the goal is obviously to hit some big plays. You've got to be careful of letting your quarterback take too many big hits. Not only can he get tired, he can also start to fumble the football. And on fourth down, the punter sends it away. On the return, it's White. He's brought down, but a good effort to make something of that return. And the Volunteers' high-tempo offense is back out on the field. The passing game was clicking beautifully in the last drive, right down for a touchdown. Let's see if they can do it again. He's brought down out at the 46. Just love watching this back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and gets a nice, solid game. Balls come up to the line in the hurry up. It's a run. Running back's got it. And he's brought down, but he does have enough for the first down. It was a nice job up front by the offensive line, but give the running back an assist for setting those blocks up before he's able to get downfield for the first down. See what the call is on first and ten. to the tight end. Defense reacts quickly, a very short gain on the play. Well, that's the thing with this guy. You've got the ability to flex him out. He shows his versatility and what he can do from that slot position. He could be the quarterback safety blanket. Second down after that run on the previous play. They'll hand it off. Stop short of the marker after just a short gain. That run sets up an important third down call for this offense. Looking to pass, it's Ayamaleva. Snags the quick throw and uses his speed to pick up solid yardage. The freshman quarterback showing what a cannon he's got. With that completion right there, this quarterback now has gone over 300 yards in this game. What a day. 
the Volunteers pick up enough yardage to keep this drive rolling. Gonna run it. It's Sampson. The game is five, so it's second and five now. It's a good, solid game. Five or six yards. Love to see that from the running game. The Volunteers are in the red zone. Running back with the football. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. My gosh, this offensive line's got to do a better job of blocking. The defense was zeroed in on the ball carrier and absolutely nowhere to go for the offense. Now it's third and short from the 22. You expect this is four down territory. Let's see what they do on third down. On the shotgun, it's a handoff. Fighting for yardage, but the defense stops him just short of that first down marker. So it looks like they'll bring the field goal unit onto the field. This will be a 35-yard attempt. No problem, knocks it right through. That puts them back on top. Well, Chris, it's a nice kick here to polish off that drive with at least three points up on the board. So after coming away with three in that drive, the kickoff team is out. And he takes this from inside the five. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. So here comes the Alabama offense back out of the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? Look him out throwing here to start the drive. Caught in the backfield. It's Haynes. And he's tackled for a loss after the catch. The defense all over that one. This is not how you draw it up as an offensive coordinator. You got a first down play, and you go backwards. Now you're behind the sticks, and that play just never seemed to have much of a chance at all. We go backwards on first down, so it's second and long from the 19. To throw, it's Milrow. But they can't make the connection. Ball's incomplete. Well, this quarterback and his receivers have got to get on the same page. They've got to find a rhythm if they want to move the ball down the field. So a tricky situation here, third and very long, inside your own 20. How much of a risk do you take? You know this defense could be very aggressive at this moment. Quick completion to the tight end. The defense stops him short of the marker, so now it's fourth down. Really tight coverage here by this defense. Now they give up the pass underneath, but do a nice job of rallying to the football to keep him short of that first down marker. And now we've got a decision here on fourth down. Special teams on the field now. Here comes a punt. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. Coverage team brings down the returner. And the Volunteers' powerful offense back out in the field. Had to reluctantly settle for a field goal last time out. Really want to find the end zone here. And this is dropped. Would have been a huge game, but he could not collect it. Incomplete, so it's second down and ten. Takes the handoff. It's Samson. He's wrapped up nicely there by the freshman. The Kirk, it's Tennessee on top as we take a break for the quarter. We've reached the end of the third. Time is running out to cut into this lead. Let's check out the game stats before we go on. Set now for the fourth quarter. Who is going to make the crucial plays to take home this W? Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. 
deep ball is caught for a huge game here. Fourth out of bounds, but it's another big game. This offense producing chunk plays through the air. The ball has come up to the line to crank the tempo up here. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Oh, look out, the football is free. So they'll retain possession. It's no turnover, but a big loss on the play. Well, just like running backs, quarterbacks have got to do a better job of having awareness and taking care of the football. I felt like he got the ball away from his body there a little bit, allowing it to be knocked free. He caught a break because one of his own teammates was able to see that and get on top of the ball. After the sack on first down, it's second down. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside handoff. And he's brought down after a short game. Does not make the first down yardage. Offense sets the formation. It's third down. Back to throw. It's Ayamaleva. Here's a screen pass to the running back. Good job in the defense to fight through the blocks on that screen. He's short of the first down marker. The offense gets some positive yards here, but they're going to be short of the first down marker to set up fourth down. Really good job by the defense of tackling and the awareness to keep him short of that first down marker. So on fourth down, it's an all-important field goal attempt. Hold your breath here. And that is no good. The lead remains three after that miss. Man, I thought he hit that pretty clean. Good hold by the holder. Everything looked to be the way you'd like as a kicker. He just misses it, and the ball trailed on him and ends up hitting the upright. Alabama's offense coming back onto the field. They were held to a quick three and out last time, looking to put together a positive drive here. Let's it fly out of the wide out. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. And they take the lead in the fourth quarter. Well, this is why they love this guy so much, is when it's crunch time, he makes plays like this. And what I love is the quarterback knows, all I got to do is get the ball in his hands, and he can do the rest of the work and get it all the way to the end zone. Great play. Here's the point after attempt. PAT up and good. The lead is four here in the final quarter. Now they get set to kick it away. He's going to return it from near the goal line. Physical running fights off the defender. And the return will be brought down. And Tennessee's high-powered offense is back out on the field. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. They stop him right at the 24. And the Vols looking to run some tempo here. Back to throw. It's Ayamaleva. Quick throw testing the middle. And it's complete downfield. Tackle made after a big game. They attack the deep middle of this defense could come up with a big play. Nice job giving that quarterback time to throw. Good job of making that read to the middle of the field and working against those safeties and a big play as the result. 
The offense operating at peak efficiency. They come to the line again. Grab behind the line. It's White. Nowhere to run. No corral him for no gain. But they love going to this guy in the slot, don't they? What a mismatch inside. He reels in another one. This guy's automatic. Here comes the up-tempo offense. Trying to find some room. It's Samson. Able to fight for a decent gain here in that running play. Here's that defense shifting again. Okay, it's third down after that run. Dropping back. You're going to throw for the first down. And the junior gets home making a sack there. Man, how do you like to be the offensive coordinator for this team right now with the offensive line coach trying to come up with any answer at all to deal with this pass rush? That's five sacks now in this game. They cannot seem to stop this pressure from this defense. And the volunteers will line up to punt it away. Not a very good boot. Sets up the offense in great field position. That one heading out of bounds, so there'll be no return here. Here comes the Alabama offense onto the field. This game just got tighter. The temptation might be to sit on this lead, but we'll see how aggressive they get. He moves the ball across the 20 to the 22. That's exactly how you want to start this drive, working with the lead in the fourth quarter. Take as much time off this clock as possible. That's a great way to get this drive started. Offense getting set. It's second down. Single back takes the handoff. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Well, with the lead here, this is where you want to just take your time. The defense, as we know, they are looking to do anything they can to create an aggressive play, to try to create a turnover. So you got to work that clock, but also protect the football. I'm sure the coach right now is preaching to all his guys and reminding them about ball security at this point in the game. He's moving out of the pocket. The defense gets him, but it's a first down. Shows you how dangerous he can be scrambling. Boy, this guy can do it all. We know what he can do with his arm, but when things aren't there, does a good job of pulling it down, knowing where the first down marker is, picking up the first down. Alabama getting set with a first and 10 coming up. Change of pace now, looking to throw the football. Fires it to the wideout. He's got it for a big game. Breaks clear over the middle. Can they catch him? Takes it all the way to the house. Touchdown, Alabama. So the offense flexing here and stretching their lead here in the second half. Yeah, that touchdown gives you a little bit more breathing room, but now it's up to your own defense to help preserve that lead so you can go back out and build onto it in the second half. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. Extra point is up and good. So the lead now is 11 here in the final quarter. Getting set to kick the ball off now. Fields it just outside the goal line. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And Tennessee's offense back out on the field now. The last drive, they came up empty. Had to kick it away. Can they come up with something here? And he's got it. Already past the first down marker. Solid game there. Moves the ball out to the 32. You know, offensive linemen are just a certain breed. They're always going to do their job. No matter who's back there carrying the ball. I'll tell you what. 
they have a little bit more confidence when the person that's carrying the ball can break off some big time runs. That makes them block just a little bit harder knowing what he's potentially capable of doing. And then first down right back to the running game. That run moves the ball across the 40. Wow, man, this, this guy's having a heck of a day. Now, they may not win this game today, but you cannot fault his effort, what he's been able to do. He's been the one bright spot as that last carry now puts him over the 100-yard mark. The ball's hustled to the line to crank up the tempo. And the quarterback keeps it on the option. He has first down yardage at the 46. You know, it's not always the flashy play. It's not always you have to throw for a big touchdown or make a huge run as a quarterback. Sometimes it's just being efficient. Take what the defense gives you, move the sticks, keep the drive alive. That's the energy, that's the momentum you really want to play with as a quarterback. On first and 10, they'll look to throw it. Short pass finds the tight end. But a huge hit by the linebacker. What a tackle. And there's the tight end who shows off his hands. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Looking downfield, it's Ayamaleva. To short completion of the tight end. And they tackle him, but not before he picks up the first. Well, this is called settling down in his own defense, just kind of finding that soft spot. So not only does this tight end show that he's got great athletic ability and great size, here he shows that he understands coverage by sitting down in that hole, giving the quarterback a nice target, able to pick up that first down. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. Fires it to the wide out. And he's got it. They bring him down to the 27. This offense really threatening now. Chris, after this last play, he's now over 400 yards passing on the day. Are you kidding me? Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. Play action fake, looking to throw. Here's a shot toward the end zone. Oh, it's going to be incomplete. Very lucky to avoid an interception there. Risky throw. So after the incompletion, it's second down. This is smart defense. When you're trying to protect the lead late in the game, you know they're going to take some shots. Get those safeties and those defensive backs back far, anticipating a deep throw, and knock the ball away. The game moves the football to the six-yard line. It'll be first down and goal. This guy is throwing for yards every single time he drops back to throw. Believe it or not, he's closing in on almost 450 yards passing in this game. The Volunteers will come to the line to run the hurry up. Tight end goes in motion. Off the play fake on first down. Quarterback leaves the pocket on the move, but can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Boy, that takes the wind right out of your sails. This offense is trying to find a way to get back into this game, and another pressure and a sack against their quarterback. This will be a challenge now. Second and goal back at the 13. Back to pass. It's Ayamaleva. He's got it. Looking for the end zone. Brought down after the catch, but at the 8-yard line. The offense is threatening here. The quarterback looks downfield to make this throw. He wants to be able to get the ball to be able to pick up enough yards for a first down. But instead, he gets the ball at least underneath to the drag route and gets some positive yards. And the offense facing a third and goal from a long way away. Right 
From the shotgun, he's probing the secondary. Quarterback moving, and the sack is made. That's a nice play there by the sophomore. And just like that, you squeeze the life out of this offense. That's another sack by this defense. They have been in that backfield the entire game, and a big reason why these guys are enjoying a lead. A field goal here doesn't help the cause. They're going to go for the touchdown here on fourth down. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun, looking for a receiver. Launching one to the end zone. Intercepted in the end zone. Not much on the return, but they snuff out the drive with the takeaway. Boy, would this quarterback love to have this one back. They're trying to work themselves back into this game here in the second half, and the defense comes up with a big turnover that could be the nail in the coffin. Here comes the Crimson Tide offense onto the field. Use the running game and chew on this clock now. Game moves the ball out past the 25-yard line. Man, just complimentary football, really, in a nutshell. They get this football back thanks to their own defense, creating that turnover, working with the lead like this. Really, it's all but over. Now the offense is just thinking about running the football and working that clock. Second down here, time for perhaps just one more play before the two-minute warning. And that's the two-minute warning. And this offense looking to run out the clock and secure an impressive win here today. The linebacker shifting around now. Second down play coming up. Looking to throw. It's Milrow. Down goes the quarterback. It's a sack. And now a timeout taken by the defense trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. And this crowd coming to life here trying to help the defense get a stop the offense pinned back. And there's the handoff. Defense able to stop it. It's fourth down now. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. And here comes the punter onto the field. With the return, it's White. They finally get him down, but that's a solid return. Good work by the return man. And the Volunteers' high-tempo offense is back out on the field. That costly red zone interception the last time out. Let's see if they can recover from that error. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. And he takes it all the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. Well, hold on now, Chris. We're under two minutes to go, and these guys will not go away. They hit this extra point. They cover an onside kick. You never know. The obvious move here is to go for a two-point conversion to cut this lead to three as time winds down. On the ground, trying to muscle it across the line. He's not going to get there. The two-point try fails. They can't cut into this deficit any further. I believe they're going to line up here and go for the onside kick. And the hand seam able to make the crucial recovery. So here comes the Alabama offense back onto the field. Can they play keep away here? Just protect this lead in the final two minutes. On the ground, it's Haynes. Finding enough space for a solid game before they stop it. And now a timeout taken by the defense trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. Offense getting set, second down play here. Shotgun formation, here's an inside give. Try to run it up the middle, but get nothing. Well, the back just had nowhere to go. How about the defensive line? They eat up all the blocks up front, freeing those linebackers up to be able to make the play. Just a bad play all around for this offense. It's third down for the offense. Kibi decides to keep it here. 
Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Man, I love this option call, but the quarterback, I think he's just trying to make a play that wasn't there. Sometimes on this option play, you just got to eat it. It's just not there. The execution's not there. The defense plays it well. You got to tip your cap. Here, he tries to make a play that's not there, and the result is a loss of yardage. No, kick it away here. And the punt head's out of bounds, taking the dangerous returner out of play here. And the Volunteers' powerful offense back out in the field. So here we go. Time for a couple of plays to try to get it closer before taking a shot at the end zone. And it's incomplete with just one second remaining on the clock. Chris, this is it. Last shot here. Let's see if anybody can come up with a miracle play. They'll get set, needing to score quickly now, looking for some big plays right here. He's back to throw again on second down. The pocket breaking down. Deep shot caught inside the 25. Out of bounds, but not before a huge game. Offense gets a fresh set of downs. 